folks, Moose here. So this video is going to be ooh, um, well, for starters, I don't think I'll be able to show you the entire breakdown of this. <clears throat> this is the uh, propane, uh, the Renai propane combi unit for both domestic heat and hot water. Um, this is probably going to take me quite a while to pull apart. Um, so what I'll probably do is just film it and like make it fast forward through all the screwing and unscrewing and all that crap. Um, I did want to point out there's a couple of parts that I will not be scrapping. Uh, the circuit board, which was just put in last year, it cost me a thousand dollars. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can't sell it on eBay. And same with the, uh, the bladder that goes over here, it's still fairly new. So I'm gonna be gentle taking those apart, put those aside, those will not be scrapped. But everything else, um, I'm seeing a lot of you know, brass and copper fittings in here. There's a whole bunch of wire, um, a ton of aluminum. Um, so yeah, let's take a look and see what's inside. So a couple hours later, this thing was as much a pain in the butt to me in death as it was while it was in, while it was working in my house or trying to work anyway. So um, you can see down there we've got a bunch of steel light iron, and this is hard to point. All right, well there I've got some. Uh, cast aluminum, uh, several pounds of it, and down here, all right, we've got this thing which I haven't figured out what the heck it's made out of yet, uh, it's not magnetic, so I tried scratching it and I'm not getting any other colors besides white under it, so maybe it's stainless steel, don't know, so We've got uh, a little bit of copper here, not a whole heck of a lot, uh, but hey, copper is copper. We've got a bunch of brass, so this whole pile here, uh, I didn't plan this out too well, did I? So all of this, this is all brass, there's, you know, a bit, I'd say at least three pounds of it there. Um, now there's more stuff, there's more brass on this. I just, for the life of me, can't get that off. Uh, this, I'm not sure what kind of metal that is. It's not, uh, again, it's not magnetic. Oh, make a wire out of me. Yeah, it's magnetic. That's all magnetic. All right, so this is all steel except for this brass bit right there, which is, you know, probably a good pound. But it's, it's really screwed in there well. So I have to figure out how to get that off. And this thing, I don't know what that is. That's magnetic. So that's iron. Now we do have a few other things that I found in there. Um, if you saw my last video, uh, you'll see parts that I've already taken apart. 
like this um, valve actuator. So we saw there's you know, some copper in there. We've got this pump, which I've already taken apart in the previous video. It's gonna be more copper, cast aluminum in that. Uh, there was this thing on the end, which has got a little bit of copper in it as well. And one of these doohickeys. Um, it's some kind of valve piston thing. Uh, I'm, I'm not a mechanic or a tech or anything like that. I just take stuff apart. So uh, I can tell you that inside of these things, there's going to be spools of copper. Um, yeah, and that was also a little circuit board. Not much on it at all. And a transformer, which is encased in resin. So I'm not going to try and take that apart. I'm just going to sell it to the scrapyard as transformers, which they don't really pay a whole heck of a lot for. Uh, another thing that I found that I thought was kind of cool was this uh, ceramic heating element. I hope it's ceramic, not asbestos. Um, but it's got um, aluminum all around it. So this is going to be a nice little surface for. Uh, when I'm using the forge or other items, um, like my little melting dish crucible, um, that'll be a good thing to block the heat. So it's a nice little fire brick thingy in there. And that's about it. Oh, sorry, I forgot. A whole bunch of wire at the end. Maybe a couple pounds of wire. Uh, some of it, the, the power cable is thick enough for me to strip. Uh, but nothing else really is. Uh, so, just gonna leave that as it is. A little tag, it's more aluminum. Yeah! I am absolutely elated that this project is over. Um, that boiler has given me so many problems, as I've mentioned in the last video, over the years. And, uh, you know, at least I'll be able to get like 30 bucks back out of it. <laughs> it's so bad. But um, anyway, uh, it was interesting. It, it, it was a real pain. Um, I mean, a lot of these fittings are put on there to be you know, really tight. Um, and there was a lot of crud in the system. I mean, black stuff coming. I mean, it was a propane system. And you got black stuff coming out of it like that. Like I said, I'm not an HVAC guy, but that doesn't look healthy to me. Um, and, you know, there's rust everywhere, which, looking through the whole system, I have no idea where the rust is coming from, because none of the components inside were rusty, or really made out of any kind of, you know, iron that would that showed any kind of um, oxidization. But it was there, so that's what was screwing up a lot of the pumps. But anyway, so that's that. Uh, nice little project. It's done. It's over with. I got a few bucks out of it. And uh, I hope this was mildly entertaining. It's actually something new, something I haven't scrapped before with over 350 videos. It's getting harder to uh, come up with original content, but this did it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell, do all that great stuff, and I will see you on the next one.